WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chap here on this Friday, and this is Friday the 28th of July. We're looking at the Dow up 156 points. That was a really ugly candle yesterday, but when it occurs right at a top, and that's certainly that's the most recent high for the past year or so, over a year, what you need to see to be able to garner the kind of information that says, oh, oh, this is... Watch tomorrow, it's going to be horrible. The futures have to continue the downside plunge. You have to open with the futures, oh, I'd say minus 48 to minus 50, S&P down, uh, the, the Dow down, futures down, oh, 325 to 375. And every rally gets, just dissipates as strength just wanes and you see a close, a really negative close. We don't have that at all. Not only that, look at the nine period moving average above the 14. It's still expanding. And that just says it's going to take quite a while or really bad news to tank the market so the Dow can go towards the 35, uh, 30. Let's see where it would have to go now. Probably 34,500 or lower to see that green nine period moving average turn negative. That's the reason why I've refused now to even consider any short position until I get much greater indications of some kind of a pullback. We're going to continue holding the long positions. Look at this, the S&P, nine period moving average, still strong. It's up 40 at 45.78. Look at the MACD, look at the stochastic. MACD is pulling back, stochastic's at 85, still good. But there's internal strength. Look, even on the, oh, sorry, let me move it over here. Even on the one minute in the futures, you've got the one minute chart making a brand new leg C as we speak. Um, there's just internal strength. And I'm going to be going through a whole bunch of things when I come up with my show, the Tiger Technicians are in a few moments. Look, QQQ, nice bounce from yesterday, sharp move to the downside, up six at 382. IWM, Russell 2000, I'll do this real quickly. IWM is also moving up. Uh, not as good, but it is up 260. Gold is running a little bit. I'll be right back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. We'll see if we're able to make a new recovery high today. Oh, what an interesting time. I'll be right back. And we've got to watch bonds. I'll be looking at bonds very 